So I am Sherry Israel. I am here with Tammy Gaynor. She is the equestrian director at Pegasus Farms, and she is going to teach me a little bit about vaulting today. So can you expand, uh, explain a little bit about vaulting to me? Okay, vaulting quite basically is gymnastics on a horse. Um, the horse is put on a 13 to 15 meter circle, and it's controlled by a lunger, and um, you would perform just gymnastics movements. Gymnastic movements on the horse, and we're at a walk track. So when you're beginning, you can start at a walk, and do the training at the walk, and then work your way up. Right. Okay, so it sounds like you're really interacting with the horse in a way that horses aren't used to being interacted with, with people jumping on their backs and standing up. So it seems like finding the right horse is sort of important. Finding the right horse is probably one of the most important. Confirmation and temperament. Actually, temperament is probably the number one key to finding a horse that will um, enable you to do a vaulting program. You need a horse that is quite bomb-proof, if you say, although we know there's no such thing as a bomb-proof horse. But someone, a horse that has that temperament, that's very calm, that does not get overstressed in situations, and that can handle many different people around them at once, and doing all kinds of different movements on top of them, around them, coming on one, jumping on one side, coming off the other. So the temperament really is key, number one. Confirmation is number two, where you want a horse with a good, solid, medium back, nice, strong legs. Um, and, and wide enough to, and long enough to carry more than one vaulter. Um, breed is, is third. Uh, in Europe, they use more warm bloods. Here in the United States, we tend to use draft, draftable crosses. So would you say that the horse could be a young horse, or is it better to have an older, more seasoned horse that's trained in something else first, and then you transition them into a vaulting? It can work either way, but in competition, your horse has to be at a minimum of six years old. Oh, so there's a rule. So, so there is a, there is a rule in competition. It needs to be six, just for life experience and also growth. If we're using draft and draft, draft crosses, they don't mature until they're approximately six years old fully. So we do want something. And again, you know, it, it really is good to get a horse that might have some previous experience. You always want to cross train your horses. That is really, really good for them. That vaulting is not the only job that they do. Um, majority of your vaulting horses also um, train in dressage, but it can be anything from you know trail to eventing to raining, any other sport. Just something that would break it up for them. Now you wouldn't vault with a horse every day. No, absolutely you would not, because remember you're putting them on that circle. Although you warm them up and you do a lot of work to on the other direction, you're basically tracking left in competition, although in comp some competitions they do track to the right. But um, yes, you want something that's, that's going to be up there. Okay. You do not want to use them every day for vaulting. Okay, and this is your vaulting horse. This, this, is, this is our current vaulting horse. This is Malachi. He is a um, Clyde Steel Quarter Horse Cross. He is nine years old. He was actually a pack horse out in the West before he came to us. Well, it sounds like your team is coming in and getting ready, so we're going to head over and do some work. Okay, sounds good. Before the practice, the whole team got together to stretch and warm up, and then everybody ran through their compulsory exercises on the barrel horses to get their form. And you notice that the team is a variety of ages, from six years old to one of the parents of the children on the team. So any age is good for vaulting. Once the rest of the team had run through their compulsory exercises, the assistant trainer assisted me in running through my compulsory exercises. She taught me where I needed to position my body and made sure I knew how to hold on properly so that I stayed where I needed to stay and was stable. When we were all ready to get on a horse, we spent some time desensitizing Malachi by patting him. Then we lined up and got ready to vault. The first exercise they had me do was simply mount the horse and then slide off the other side. But then it was time for me to do some of the compulsories. So here I will demonstrate the basic seat with my arms out to the side. And then I will do the flag with one arm out 
and one leg out. And it is not easy to keep that leg out and keep your arm up at the same time. When I was done with my compulsory exercises, Tammy put together a short freestyle for me to try. So we went back to the barrels so I could practice the maneuvers. They are the plank, which I'm demonstrating now, it needs to be flatter. And the next move is the special K, called that because when you do it properly, your body looks like the letter K. When the practice was over, the team gathered to give Malachi his thank yous, and then Tammy allowed me to do some work at the trot. So I just did the same basic compulsory moves that I did at the walk, but at the trot it is a lot harder You'll notice Malachi is not going very fast, but it is still challenging to keep your balance and your body positioning while the horse is moving. I had to have the assistant trainer, Andrea, steady my knee because I could not keep it from sliding around on Malachi's rump, and it's very difficult to balance yourself there when your knee keeps sliding out from underneath you. If I had had the proper leg position with my leg across his rump instead of more straight on it like it was. It would have been easier for me, but I was having some difficulty. Now this next move is called the mill. And as kids, we called it around the world when you're sitting on a horse uh, with a saddle. And it's very interesting to be facing backwards on a trotting horse. I had never done that before. And again, you'll notice Malachi is not going very fast, which was good for me at the time. But keep in mind, in competition, these horses are cantering at a pretty decent canter. And then I asked if I could try to stand up on Malachi, and then I asked if he could walk for me to do that. So the assistant trainer came in as a spotter. And I gave it my first try. And at this point, Tammy said it would be better if I tried to straighten my legs as much as possible and then let go. So here we go. And I'm standing on a walking horse. And that's enough for me. 